the UK's first city of sanctuary, a city that welcomes all, and we welcome you today. Prior to this meeting today, I happened to talk to a colleague of mine. Um, who was, we are in contact with lots of friends in Ukraine. Uh, a member of your parliament, Kira Rodit, I think, is if I pronounce the name right. And in passing, there was a message about what's the mayor like? Yourself, sir. And the message from Kira is he's a good guy, but a bit strict. <laughs> I kid you not, it's here, colleagues. <laughs> I don't know if Kira's from your party or not, but that's what she that's the message I got on WhatsApp. No, she's not from his party. I'm not from his party. <laughs> but today we stand united. Because not only as a city, but as a country, but as a world, we are standing united behind freedom. Freedom for you, the, the country of Ukraine, to decide your own future. And for us today, it's the start of a friendship between people. <coughs> you know, we have welcomed people from Ukraine right across your country, into our homes, into our communities. You can see the contribution you are making. And we tried so desperately, my colleague here, Martin Smith, to actually get Eurovision on your behalf so we could celebrate Ukrainian culture within our city. We didn't get that, but rest assured, we'll continue to actually speak up on behalf of the people of Ukraine and celebrate the contribution that the Ukrainian community that have been here a few months, but also years, are making to our city. So I'm proud, and I'm sure everyone else is here today, to be supporting this start of a new relationship between our cities. And we will be right beside you, ultimately, when you win against the tyrant Putin. Thank you.